Hey everybody, this is Get Sideways. Today I have a kryptonite combination bicycle lock. It's got four dials on it here. What we're going to do is we're going to crack this thing or decode it, however you want to put it. Uh, what we have to do first off is we have to find uh, there are two false gates and then one true gate for each of these wheels. Um, you can find these by applying the uh, opening, uh, I'm sorry, tension, right, in the direction of opening. So we're just going to pull on each side and we're just going to find binders here. And it looks like four is one. Looks like, looks like four, four. Let's see. Okay. So this is the difficult thing about these locks is that uh, it's got these false gates. So on on some combination locks, you're able to just find a binder and then you can find like a, just the, the true gate because there aren't any false gates in them. But uh, in this lock, like I said, there's there's two false gates and one true gate for each wheel. And uh, so I've got them all bound up now. When I apply tension, these things won't move at all. So now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, the, the three spots where it binds up on each of these rings. So I'm going to start at the right hand side here. So we know that four is one. It looks like seven is one. And three. So three, four. Oops, move those dials. Three, four, and seven. So I'm going to write these down. Three, four, seven. We're going to move on to the next dial so we know it's four, eight, and dash. So dash four, eight. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's my kegerator and its compressor is going bad. So on this second dial here, we've got five. It looks like seven. Or six, I mean. Let's see. Five, six, and seven. And then we're going to move on to the first dial. So it's dash, two, and six. Dash, two, six. So out of 10,000 combinations, we've now narrowed it down to 81 possible combinations that we can now brute force our way into this thing. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to set it to dash 5 dash 3, and then I'm going to go dash 5 dash 4 dash 5 dash 7, and then I'll move down dash 5 4 3 dash 5 4 4 dash 5 4 7, and so on until hopefully I don't have to exhaust all 81 of them, but I will be able to get it open in just a, a couple of minutes from now. So we'll just set this down here and we'll get to work. So we'll set it to the first possible combination. All right, we just pull, nothing. So we go to four, seven, nothing. Turn this to four, three, nothing, nothing, nothing. Turn this to eight, three, nothing, nothing, nothing. This to six dash and three. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Four, nothing. Three, 
Ooh, jeez. Gotta have nerves of steel on that one. So there we go. The combination was 2643. And let me get a good camera angle here, hopefully. And what we'll try to do is zoom in. And we'll see what I'm talking about in terms of false gate, hopefully. So as I turn this, it's in a, a true gate right now, but you can see that as I turn that, there's a false gate. There's another one, and then there's a true gate. So you get an idea of, you know, uh, when the key is, is uh, well, not key, but the mail portion of the lock. And let me uh, zoom out here. So here is actually what that looks like. And let's see here. I've got a, like a little drawing of what a false gate and a true gate would kind of be like. So if we're pulling this out, right, it would get bound up. These little teeth would get bound up on the false gates, whereas if it was a true gate, it would just slide right out of there. So anyways, I hope this guy uh, helps you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up. And happy cracking, guys. Take care. Have a good one.